Good evening. Good evening. We're sharing some of our favorite cards from celebration tonight. So welcome. So glad to keep people on here. And uh, just a couple of things. This is the host code for this month. Tomorrow is the very last day to use this code. I'll put you'll, up another one. You'll, you'll be missing Timothy Tate's facts. I know. This was an easy one. And it is also the last time. Tomorrow's the last day to get this card kit. This is going out to anyone that joins my team this month, too. This, uh, these, this fun card kit with the PDF and all of that. So just last chances. And, um, oh, look behind us. Our numbers are growing. This is for my whole team. So I would love to invite you to buy the starter kit and just, it's such an awesome deal and you're under no obligation. So it's an awesome deal. Meanwhile, you get to have fun with us. We're having a party in February. So that would be fabulous. Let me know if you have any questions. I think we have parties every month. Yeah, we like to party. So it's, it's all good. So <laughs> but anyway, and you know what the awesome deal, you do get 155 of anything you want for only $99, no shipping. And you can add the mini embossing machine for 30 if you like. Oh, my other announcement is the retreat that I'm doing with some of my downline. So just a quick announcement tomorrow, we're doing a very short live at 10 a.m. Central Time. Just so you can meet all of us and we'll just talk just really briefly about what it is. So that will be fun. We'll see you then. That is wonderful. And I guess that is it. So I wanted to go through, this is the end of the first month of celebration. There's one more month. So the fun about showing cards from celebration, if you already have these sets, these are ideas for what to use for them. And you might just find, ooh, I'm missing one. I, you know, I better get that one too, right? So, <laughs> so we- is sale celebration. We will jump right in and let us go down here. So we're just gonna go, go through these. So we're going to start with the adorable owls. Uh, and that's what they're called. We're going to move kind of, kind of quickly tonight just to kind of, because this is just kind of like a review of all of these things. So I said, how fun is that? So who has, here? oh, sure. Who has the adorable owls? Okay. And a bunch of these, I'm going to point out, this is the dandy designs paper that we come in here. That's with a hundred dollar order. It's a huge stack of paper. So I'm going to point out a lot of cards are using that. This card is Dina Lenneman. And look how cute these two that papers is. are. And look how fun this one is. This one has lost its name. But do you see its papers from the same oh, dandy designs? Both. Yeah. But I also love to look at the different coloring. Now, this is a more traditional coloring. This is how I colored all of mine that I did for a swap. Look how adorable this coloring is. So I wish I knew who to give credit for. It's got the shading and everything. Very nice. But that is so, so cool. And keep watching the coloring. Same paper pack. I just, what you can do with this paper pack is amazing. Mm -hmm. And now look, the owl is white and blue. That is just mm -hmm. amazing. I think that is just gorgeous. Oh, and this one, is, oh, no, Laura Mulligan. It just fell out here. I'm assuming I get these right. You know, they kind of get lost if they're not attached. <laughs> but I just think those are so fun. Uh, I was late at putting the notification up. So I know it didn't go, usually it goes up much earlier in the day. But um, I spent the day with my mom and I just got home and I realized I hadn't put this up. So sorry about that. We're trying to spend some extra time with her since we're leaving town this weekend for a month. Uh, and, and so now look at the coloring here too. I just keep looking at the coloring and look at those cute little flower accents. Do you not see how tiny they are? So it's like a, oh, what would you call it? Carrying a little streamer. How about those things you get to, when you go to Hawaii? Yeah, a like a lay. Yes. Oh, like they're going to put it on us. Maybe when you go to Arizona. Yes. No, maybe they're going to send us out. But I also love, this is made of cactus. <laughs> on a background of a sky. I just think, what a fun idea. So this is Missy Shipman. And I think that is just so cute. Oh, a bunch of you are saying that these are so cute, that these are so fun. Yeah, that with the daisies is just adorable. So how fun is that? Um, Jean says she wasn't sure about these, but she's glad she chose it now. There are so many ideas. And, you know, these aren't just for kids. They're perfect for kids. But they're also just great for adults. And this is with... 
um, a stand-up card like that. You, so, had, you uh, had the name. stepper card we had. Carmen McNamara. Right. And again, I think that is cute. And look at, we did recently a whole tags class. Look at how cute that is. That is. It's your day. How lovely would this be to put on display? So that is very fun. Then we have... Uh, the Aspen dies and looks got gingham behind and the owl sitting there. Hoot, hoot. So, so you can mix and match all your things. This is Susan Morton. Give a hoot. <laughs> yeah, you guys are loving this. And then look at this one. Mm. So here we're seeing some different dyes being used. This is another dye. I don't know what it's called. One of you will. But it's got this frame built in. And that is just really cute on there. And then it's got the dye with the dots. So those are... It looks polka dotted, but those are see-through dots. I mean, they're actually openings, so you see the undercolor. And I think that is a fabulous card, too. This is actually looking just about authentic, like a real owl. Yeah. Now, this one was stamped on crumb cake paper. Do you see that? And then colored in with pencils. And this one's used blends, like most of the others have used blends. So isn't that an interesting contrast? And this one is from Jody Reinert. Because most... Owls were bow ties. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. But but look how, see, I'll put these side by side. Aren't these just adorable? One of my favorite things always in design is just to take circles of any size. And look at that. Mm -hmm. And I love this hoot hoot. You're so cute. But and look how heart. fun that is with the paper and the little heart. This one is Rachel Trout. Linda said she guess she, she has to buy more so she can get these. I said, <laughs> I'm too funny. Yeah, these are just adorable. And then for a whole different take, let's go with more of a lavender look. And now look how this owl is colored. And this has lost its name too, but this is just interesting. Look how cool that is. So you don't have you don't have to be limited in your imagination at all. Just go ahead and go for all kinds of colors. And then one more that's colored really interestingly. This is Leslie Bumgarner. And this is some of that same paper we've been looking at, but look at how she's gone with the greens and the purples. Mm -hmm. Pulled from that, a totally whimsical, fun, mm -hmm. fun owl. So those are really pretty cute. Okay, so after I go through this, I wanna know what your favorite, your favorite um, free item is in here. Then we have the thanks a bunch, the carrots. And I will just tell you, to be perfectly honest at first, I could not Age imagine five. what one would do with carrots other than for a gardener. But I love the thanks a bunch. It looks like spring. And I, I have the, most, the cutest cards with this. This is Kim Williams. A couple of things I want to point out here. So this is, these are two circles, a smaller one. Isn't that just cute, the little bunch? See, she stamped it twice. So she's got a double bunch and then two topper colors. And then this is a circle, and that is, but do you see how they're put off center mm -hmm. so we can add the little accent down here? It makes it look like an oval, the bottom one. Yeah, it does, because it's all, I just, I love that. I just think it just gives it a very interesting perspective to do that. And, oh, someone's going to use the owls for her daughter's kindergarten classroom. Oh, is that perfect? And then this, I actually had Tim take a picture, but I didn't have time to make a card of all the different rainbow colors that carrots come in. So, I, so we have to show it, but I thought this is Megan Hurst. And I want you to point out the inside. This is such a great way to finish a card. See how she's got the words there. There's no one quite like you. And then softly in the background is the stamp. It's more like a watermark kind of thing. And it just makes the inside so pretty. Ooh. But I love the different colors. And this is a two-step stamp. So we've got the carrot and then the dark color on top. So you can always take the same color and stamp off once, but you can also use very different colors. And again, you're gonna see that same paper back there. I think that's so fun. And then we're gonna take that and then, oh look, same paper. <laughs> I just, this paper is amazing. But look how fun this is with the two carrots and this time they're cut out. It looks like spring. Mm -hmm. How fun is that? And this is Sarah Schuler. And I just love that. And that's more of a traditional color. And here is really, now this one yeah. isn't even the two-step. Look at that. This is just the, the main thing. And I love how she has stamped it three times. This one is cut out and popped up. So if you can kind of see, see that. So it gives more dimension. The middle one or all of them? The middle one. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. So it gives a little, and then the thanks oh, a bunch put on top. 
That is just absolutely cool. Yes, and it can be turned sideways, you guys. Uh, people are making um, trees out of these, bushes, all kinds of things. So it's actually a whole bunch of landscape cards. I just don't happen to have any, but they are really, really cute. Oh, a couple more of the big ones first. So look how fun this is. I love the love you right on the side like that. This one is, and she did the inside like that. Now see, love, love you, you a bunch. bunch. Barbara Dykehouse. And I think that's really cool too. Just love that. And then look at this one. Remember I showed this once before and we all just loved how this is on here. And I thought, I have not done this on a card. I just think that's so fun because it's so interesting and unusual. And this is Ann Hubner. Oh, look, and she did a little mark on the back. Very nice. How cute is that? And um, then, um, then we have... I have two cards. This is Meg Lovin. And this one is Leanne Graff. I'm going to put these side by side. More of that same paper, you know, that Dandy Designs paper just used for so many things. But I love how they've both used these, the this, this smaller ones. So if you look in the stamps that we have the really big ones, we have the tiny ones we saw in some of the first cards and then the middle size. And I love how she's got a whole bunch here. Thanks middle, a bunch. Middle or They're the middle. And then this one, she cut one out and placed it on top, but like just that. kind of on top of it sideways like that. And then she took the thanks a bunch and did the a bunch, lift it up. And otherwise, you know, they're the same papers there. And I thought, aren't they fun? They are. So I love this. I just think of gardeners, anything to do with spring, um, anyone who likes to cook. I mean, what great cards with the carrots. So I think that's just really a fun. You've got both of their names? Yep. Okay. And then next. Oh, I think, now my guess is that, but I'm not sure that this has been the most popular item in celebration. This paper is absolutely amazing. The dainty flowers. I know I have done Page just six. lots and lots of things with this. So I have a few cards highlighting this paper and it does coordinate with a stamp set in the main catalog. So I love this. Look at those pretty colors. And you see how she's just layered her tags. This is Kathy Miller. Look at that beautiful paper. So that's one paper. We're going to do some of these side by sides. You see the different papers. This is Mary, Mary Ellen Stites. And this is, you would get, um, let's see, this would be four across eight. You get 16 cards like this out of one pack of paper. And a bunch of these cards. Look what you can make with this. Mm -hmm. So these are just different pieces of paper. And then this is another one. And you can cut them out just like that, layer it. I, I just think these are just really pretty cards. Very nice. So I'm just showing a few of those. And then we'll keep going. And then we're going to go to Day at the Farm. Page eight. This is adorable. And of course, this goes with the farm set in the main catalog, too. But we have several just fabulous cards with this. This is Joanne Bachman. And I love this card. It's the, you know, I often do these where you cut off the side. What I really love about what she did is how she put the words here in a square. Mm -hmm. I just think that is so cool. And then she's got the landscape here I love with that. the dies. And so the dies are in the catalog. They'll be staying, but the paper will be gone. And this paper is very vintagey. So I don't think you even have to grow up on a farm to think this is fun, vintage kind of paper or have any farm connections. But I just, I love that. And I just love this whole landscape thing. Mm. Very so nice. that is very cool. And then we've got, so I point out how cool this is. I love this card too. This is Joey Hartman. And I, I, I look how this is just the same die, Tim. Do you see how the barn mm -hmm. is stamped there, cut out? This is just done in white as a silhouette. So all of these are silhouettes. And here the cow is a silhouette. So you know, dies are just so interesting to even to use alone. So she's done more stamping and then the dies and she's just done a white landscape against the red. And they are both absolutely gorgeous. Yes, you get eight of those uh, cards that I mentioned on one sheet of paper and you get two of the sheets of paper out of that. So very cool. And then, oh, let's, let's compare these side by side because these are cool. Look how simple this one is, Tim. I think Ooh. this is gorgeous too. Look yep. at 
So this opens like this. See both sides of the paper. This is Marcia Gay. And look at these windmills are both. This one's done in white. Mm -hmm. This one's done in red. And I think I just really love both of that. You know, there's a similar look to these, but is very a, different. Is that a punch? Um, these no, these are the dies. See, they're part of this. Oh, okay. So a little die to the thing. But I love how she put the die and put the little hills in there. Just think that is amazing. And oh, one more with the windmill. Love the windmill. Ooh. And this is Rachel Kuhn. And I love how this is offset. Somebody looked at this card at my house and said, but shouldn't this be on? I said, no, it's a design element. So see, um, and I love, uh, I love cattywampus looks. So it's kind of interesting, but I just love how that goes there. And it mirrors the circle there. And I love these vegetables. So just another, think of all the gardeners. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is stunning, stunning paper. I just am. And that card actually could be Tim trying to put it on straight. Yes. <laughs> well, see, it could be. And then it also just kind of says, if you have trouble going going for straight, yeah. go for obviously yes. crooked. Because yes. sometimes it's frustrating if you want it to look straight and it's a little it's off. Little, but you can go yeah. for cattywampus and then it's a planned look, you know? Yes. And this one is Sharon Bulk. And this shows all the animals. And these are right in the paper. So you can, uh, there are dies for some of them. I don't remember which ones. <laughs> and you can also fussy cut. And then we've got the barn. Which, and just the, the pretty, the pretty picture. So I love, who else loves this farm thing? I just think I these are. I sure uh, do. Yeah, wind turbines on farms now. And that's true. So you could, you could use, you know, a modernized thing. Now on page nine, we have sending support. And this is. I only have one card that kind of really shows this. I might have, I'm sure it's on some other cards, but I wanted to point this one out. Courage is being really scared and doing it anyway. What a fun mm. note of encouragement for someone who's trying something new and going for it. And this is that same paper. You guys look at this, just layered four different sheets of that dandy designs. And if you see how she did her ribbon, this is wide ribbon and it's just tied a little bit with twine so it'll still stay pretty flat. And of course, to mail it, you can do it inside out or you can put a card over it. And this is Laura Bartow. But I love this design too with the with the papers going like that. Is that ribbon cloth or paper? This is, uh, it's a cloth ribbon. Huh. Which is, isn't that cool? It's a good answer. So that's a very fun, a very fun card. And then next, I know I'm a speedy stamper. So I said, we just, you know, we just go, <laughs> go through these, but these are like quick looks. So you can always do a screenshot if you know how to do that when you see things you like. I'm loving this black paper too with the floral, with the black on it. So this is, and then this is Joyce Fracco. And this is that kind of card that I absolutely love where we just have a centerpiece. So you know, the back sides of a lot of these, look how just stunning that is here for you always. And I think that's from that sending support too, but look how cool that is. Mm -hmm. Isn't that just really a pretty card and easy. You know, I think the thing that's fun about these, these are easy. So I think what I'm showing tonight and they're easy to fussy cut too, but I think what I'm showing tonight is all using the paper. This one is Susie Wood. Love this. Love how she did the inside. And I love these words from the catalog. I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration. Yeah. But isn't that pretty? That's a three strip card. And oh, here. Okay. I didn't even see that. Yeah. Isn't that cool? And here is another three strip mm -hmm. card done differently and put mm -hmm. on white. So similar, but different. And this one is Ruth Bingle. And I just think those are both gorgeous. It's like you can do no wrong with this. It's such a rich, rich color. And then while we're still on this color in this paper, this gorgeous card from Lynn Feldkamp Ooh. opens like this. So how cool is that? My shoulder is yours. Those are from the sending support. Okay, I'll put it down here. Isn't that cool? So you could put a little thing here to keep it upright, and then it becomes an easel card. So that's how you would do an easel card. But I love that. And they're all just showcasing the paper. The other color paper in this pattern there are two different colors now this is equally gorgeous so this is this really stunning gorgeous great kind of look and then we have the calypso coral so isn't that fun yep. so notice how this is just smaller and then we have little extensions and look how plain that is and it is absolutely beautiful and the issue day and this is kathy seal 
Love her little border. Oh, I love I love coming back and reading all this afterwards about who's ordered what and who loves what. <laughs> and then one more with this paper. And this is another of the back sides. So I just it all just coordinates in this pretty thanks, friend. And this one is Lori Kraus. So that paper is gorgeous. And then page 12, we have In the Country. And I just have two with this one. Oh, I found more of the other paper from the beginning. But I'll, but I'll save for another time. I didn't realize it. Okay. But look how pretty this is. Just uh, not colored in. This one is Janice Waitman. And this one is... Natalie Travis, and I'm going to put them side by side because I just want to show the difference. You know, even a scenery picture, you don't need to color in. This is just done in soft succulent. It would be pretty done in um, like the evergreen green or a navy too. And then this one is colored in and that is absolutely stunning. It really takes on a new look. Yeah. So they just look very different from each other. So that's very fun. And then... Okay, and then we have this beautifully happy. This is with a hundred dollar set. Oh, I love this card. This is Robin Scherzer. I love the simple elegance. If you see, she's got that whimsical border that just adds. And then this is a Caddy Wampus card, Tim. Look at that for a very Ooh. happy birthday. Isn't that pretty? So we'll look at a few here that are. And here we're seeing the same paper coming in. I just love comparing colors. This is a two-step stamp. So we're stamping the outer flowers and then the inner parts and using that same paper. This one is Rumi Radomsky. I'm gonna keep adding some more. Just look at the different colors. This is Kathy Miller. These are actually quite similar, these particular ones. But then look at this. Here's a whole nother color with the yellows. And this one has lost its name too. But I love this with the tags and against the black. Mm -hmm. And here she's using yellow. Um, you know, yellow and black and white with that touch of blue is really beautiful. It is fun to see what other people come up with. And I think when you, when you look at like several, if you look at several cards, then you start thinking about your own idea and you start copying something, but then you turn it into your own. And then I wanted to compare this color because now we have more of the pale papaya. Again, a totally different color. And this one is candy rattray. But isn't that fun? And they're all the same flower. Now here is the same flower just done down in a corner of a card. So you never have to do the whole thing. And this is a Zepho card by Suzanne Taylor. And I love that too in the words up there. Mm -hmm. That one's very fun. And here's one more with the full length again. And this is that pretty free paper again. They look really nice together. This one is Colleen Magnus. And then, um, so we have somebody joining us from Quebec who said she thought handmade cards were a thing of the past. Well, welcome to this. <laughs> they are not. We are thriving. Uh, and, you know, I just think we're all meant to be creative. And this is just a way to use our creativity to um, encourage both ourselves and other people. It's just such a gift to be giving cards. Here's a whole different color. with the can, I ask, can I ask her francophone or anglophone? We'll, 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 we'll see. But I love <laughs> this. So here we have yet another color. So when you line all these up, I just think they all look a little different. And then it then you plan what you're putting behind it differently. This is Monica Gilberti. And here's another one with just partial on a tag. And I, I just love the cattywampus from that same new Dandy Designs paper. Oh, look at her fun inside. It's got all the little bees flo floating around. And that is Amy Rich. And then we have two cards with using just the little flower on here. And that's also a two-step. And then we've got the little bee. So sending happy thoughts. And this is an embossed layer behind it. And that is Kathy Seal. And then this one with the fun three layers from that same paper. And this one is Angie Leach. So how fun is that? I'm going to go. Did she answer the question? I don't know because I can't read everything so fast. <laughs> so here is that paper that we're talking about. 
a, it's a huge pack of paper. So I've shown you a whole bunch of cards with that. And I'm going to go back since we were looking at that free paper. I had to show just a couple more because this just shows how elegant it is. I love the simplicity of this card. Look at this. Mm. With the deepest sympathy, the words are here. This is just some of that paper yep. layered. And it's just a perfect sympathy card. This is Lisa Schultz. Then let's go for a fancy card. This is more of a Z fold. Now, this is Michelle Branick. Branick. This is the stamp set in the catalog that goes with it. This is that same picture frame die that we saw done with the owl. So what a totally different look here when you just do it in a very elegant manner. Mm. And then the last one, this is some of that same paper, the reverse side. This card would look nothing like these. I mean, mm. when I first looked at this card, I thought, oh, that can't be the same paper, but it is. And a lot of it's the reverse side. And this is one of those floating cards where it's put up on a die thing. So how fun. So this was a quick run through the catalog to just see what you've missed and anything else. So how fun is that? These were great cards. And um, if you're on my email list, tomorrow the newsletter goes out. So you'll know what supplies to bring Thursday. We're going to do another fun fold. And um, it'll be our last Thursday broadcasting from home for a few weeks. So that'll be interesting. After that, we'll take the show on the road. But we appreciate you guys. And we'll see you in t-shirts instead of sweaters. I know, I know. And not all the snow out the window. So we're looking forward to it. But um, so anyone in Albuquerque, Sedona, Santa Fe, we'd love to meet you. But anyway, call me if you have any questions. We're still around and we appreciate you guys. See you tomorrow at 10, actually, about the retreat. And good night, all. Bye.